<clears throat> all right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Baka, Kodash. Second, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Greek millstone that teach and rule well. And salutation to the fellow laborers that's pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina camp, coming at you with another quick sit down. And this message goes out to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations. And they may look like your typical or average heathen, but if your bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent by the seed of your father, you're considered an Israelite according to the Bible. So shalom to you brothers and sisters as well that's listening and in, in, in the ministry. Okay? So basically, um, I'm going to get into a quick lesson. And basically my topic is going to be on the day about hey, the uprise and the uncivil unrest of the people here on the earth. In particular right now, America. Okay? Now you've seen it, the stages uh, 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 current events that are taking place here in America when it comes to this whole uh, police brutality, Black Lives Matter, uh, you got the, the right wing versus the left wing, uh, uh, Antifa, uh, in particular over there in, uh, in Portland, Oregon. Okay? And this, uh, I'm going to get into an article showing you how what times that we're in. Cause for, for people to think, especially you Israelites, they hear the words of Yahweh Shemiah Shah that come across these videos, and you scoff and you make mockery, thinking that everything is uh, uh, fun and game, everything's a joke. And hell, you're seeing uncivil unrest and the total collapse of, of, of America, okay? You see this taking place, man. And, and for you to be in the mind frame of joking and, and, and comfortability, hey, man, you're going to get caught up into the destructions that Yahweh Shemiah Shah about to bring. And now, in particular, this article going into the protests that's going over there in uh, or or Oregon, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, and more and more is getting intensified, man. And you have other states and other cities and counties around America as well that's in the uproars and uncivil unrest of people protesting, people rioting, looting, and, and, and going and, and clashing against each other, fighting against each other. These white militants fighting against Black Lives Matter supporters. And another thing, a lot of these Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter uh, protesters, man, they're Edomites, man. Okay? But they put the image as Black Lives Matter is uphold by Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in particular black. Okay? But they really Edomites fighting against each other. And that's and this I'm gonna go into the scriptures to prove that we at the downfall of you Edomites Canaan. To the point that you're now you're fighting and warring against each other, okay? But let me go ahead and get into the article. And this is off of, from Katu.com. Katu. And it says, more weapons seen at Portland protests. Experts expect more violence. And this article was published today, uh, Monday, September the 7th, 2020. The Year of Prophecy. And it says... Portland, Oregon. It is more than a week since a man was shot and killed at protests in downtown Portland. But since then, the violence surrounding the protests hasn't let up. So things are starting to more, more and more intensify. On Saturday night during a declared riot, police reported that people were carrying that people was carrying daggers, knives, and body armor. Police also developed tear gas the first time in weeks. Professors at Portland State University tell Katu last week shooting brought us into a new phase of the protest, one that will likely lead to more violence before a, a, resolution, a, a resolution. We're at point, most likely the tipping point of great violence, said Renaud Renato Louis, a criminal justice professor and former police chief, you have people demonstrating for many days, a hundred days, 
And you see the upstick in frustration and violence when the uh, when that occurs, both sides up the ante, so to speak. So you had this individual, this professor, professor, professor at Portland State University saying that how things are going to get more intensified. And this protest over there in Portland has been taking place more than 100 days, okay? And, and more and more, it's getting more intensified. More things are happening. And we, and we come to the understanding, okay, men in the faith and the ones that's uh, uh, in the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we know that a lot of these stage events, just as, that, just as I say, these stage, man, they false attacks or false flags attacks. Okay, psyops. Okay, set up, you know, by these agent provocateurs so they can go ahead and bring martial law, strict legislations, okay, regulations that, that come down on the, the American citizen and, you know, and, and people that, uh, that are doing these protesting, okay? <clears throat> and it says, Louis isn't surprised to see or hear or more violence. He says it is in in inevitable. Both sides are incredible frustrated, but when you get like that, then you also get the frustration factor kicking in, he said. You have to do something different than what we have done in the past. And this all is the will of Yahweh Bashim Shah to cause the uproar and the uncivil arrest of the other people or the nations here in America. We have the downfall of America. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah bringing judgment to this place. And it says something different more than weapons and more violence. And the Lord said that this with violence, this place America, Babylon the Great, is going to be taken down. You're seeing a gladiator combat on both sides. There are more makeshift fireworks, self-protection. Then you see police developing riot control techniques or deploying riot control techniques and equipment said Louis, it appears if there is no great change and it will get worse before it gets better and this and this is the downfall of America man now you see the uprising and the uproars of the people due to like the black police the so called police with the uh, black police brutality and all that uh, 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 uprising of, 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 of against police brutality, uprising against the government and these uh, the, the uh, vaccinations they didn't trying to push the strict legislations they trying to push the, 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 to keep the people oppressed man hell even these Edomites in their own damn kingdom is being oppressed by their own government and, and, and our people have been oppressed for years the Negro Latinos and Native Americans but as a whole and these elites want to come down upon all nations including their own people okay and that's why that what you see in the beginning, the beginning of the new world order or the or their agenda they're trying to uphold and, and enforce to to enforce. And all of this the will of Yahweh Bashim Shah to bring judgment upon this place. And it says sociologists, social social logist Randy Bazak said this increase in violence means a change in the message, tone, and history of the protest. A, a real struggle for the mainstream message is the reeling is reeling back in what this is all about. There is a fear that we are going to go into into something much more violent. He suggests to prevent more violent isn't direct at police or those demonstration or demonstrating. It is pointing at it is pointed at elected officials and all of them, these elected officials and these governments, these mayors, these okay, these senators, or you know, all of them that that's 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 uh, uphold here in this government, this system. Hey, all of them is for it, man. Because all of them are less luminaries, and they're doing the bidding of these elites. They're doing the will of these elites to to, to help further these elites' agenda. So we come into the stages. Of the downfall of America. And Esau coming with that great wrath, as the scripture says. And he know if he had but a short time left. And it says, until we have some serious resolution, also this issue, I mean Salaki, until we have some serious resolution around this issue, 
I think it's going to continue to be that tense and be frightened for a lot of people. But Zach said, so basically that's the end of the article. You know, it was a short article. Hey, but it's showing you how things are intensifying. And we're coming into the time of America totally collapsing, man. Okay? And like I said, man, you had these people, the people here in America, uncivil unrest, job losses, the COVID-19 um, messed up and shut down everything. You had uh, these protesters um, talking about um, causing chaos, police is, they, they, they quitting their jobs, they resigning from their positions. All type of things are happening, man. You're seeing the stages of martial law coming out, the, you know, coming to, coming into play. Okay? You're seeing um, food shortages, mandatory vaccinations that, that, that's about to come around the corner, corn shortages, job losses, and you got these people on the American people is on the edge, man, are losing it. Especially these Edomites, these so-called white people. These are white American citizens. And you have some of our people, you know, in the uproar too. Hey, but our, our people, they hard-headed, as, as the scripture says. Okay, because you still, you still seeing Jake going about thinking everything is good. And still want to go out partying. Still want to go out to the beaches. Still want to go out to the clubs and have fun. Going to these different uh, events. Okay? Here on Memorial Day, man, all Jake can take these holidays as just a, another way to, to eat, to live it up, man. To party. But here behind the scenes, you got these elites and the American government ready to move in on the American citizens. Especially you you Israelites. And our people gonna get caught off guard, man. When you when you how about you shot allow these Edomites, these devils to come with that wrath. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. <clears throat> and I'm going to go and start off at the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Red letter, Yahweh shall speaking. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be trouble for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet and it's coming into now because when Yahweh Shah told the disciples back then he was telling them in future reference what's going to take place in the last days okay so we was in trouble back then but now this is the time the times of Jacob's trouble because we're seeing these wars being brewing up World War Three, and these race wars clash wars and it says, verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And that's what we're seeing, man. Nations against nations. These so-called race riots, okay? Uncivil unrest. These protesters, these, you know, uh, the demonstrators going out there, standing up against the government. Hey, the article said they was out there with, with daggers and knives, body armor. They throwing all uh, Mazatov. You know, causing all type of chaos up there in Portland. And they say it was going on for 100 days, man. And you still got other various places here in America that's in uproars. That's still, uh, uh, um, that's still in, in the state of uh, 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 looting, rioting, fighting due to this government and this place crashing, man. But all of it is prophecy. Verse um, verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and they shall be famines and pestilence. And we've seen that too, man. Famine, food shortages, pestilence, this whole COVID-19, even though it's a hoax. Okay, but still they're saying people are dropping dead from it. And you're going to have other outbreaks of different diseases and pestilence that's going to affect the world, that's going to affect America. And it says, and earthquakes in diverse places, hey, earthquakes. Hey, you got these wildfires that are taking place over there in California. And, and all throughout the earth, you got so-called natural disasters that's taking place. And all throughout the earth, you got uprising and protesting. Hey, but America, you know, it's the headline of these 
protesting and uncivil arrest that's taking place now. Cause you remember for for a couple of months, by you know going on last year, you had these other nations or these other countries in uproars over there in Venezuela, Venezuela, going through famine. Okay, over there in Europe, the yellow vest protesters, over there in China, they protesting, been protesting, and these things are still going on, but they're not hitting the mainstream. Cause the whole focus now over here in this social media in the Western Hemisphere is America. The Lord got His eyes on America now, when it comes to the judgment and the prophecies that's about to be fulfilled. Now I'm gonna go to the book. A loop chapter 12 verse 51 and it says suppose that ye, ye that I am come to give peace on earth I tell you nay but rather division so that's what we're seeing okay because for this people these people in this world claim that when it comes to who the world called Christ and this whole Christianity doctrine and they claim that when the Lord come back, he's going to bring all nations together, peace and happiness. Hey, but Yahweh Shah said he's coming back to bring division, not peace. And that's what you're seeing. The dividing of the nations. People fighting against each other. People warring against each other. Nations warring against each other. And this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because when it comes down to it, the only nation that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the God of the Bible, has chosen is the nation of Israel. And at this moment, for right now, only the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third. Because two-thirds of our people, they're going to get caught into this judgment, to the destruction that the Lord is bringing here upon the earth due to their wickedness and rebellious against the Spirit of the Lord and, and not taking heed to the prophets and the prophecies. So that's it on that. So Yahweh Shah coming back to bring division, man. And you're seeing that in the current state, what America is going through. Especially these Edomites. This is on um, Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And Yahweh and Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. So you're seeing this now, man. The division of the American. And it's been like this for, 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 for years, man. Since this place was brought up off the blood shed of the Negro Latino Native Americans, us, our ancestors, and to this day, man, you ain't have nothing but bloodshed and violence. Especially of the Negro Latino Native Americans. And this land is full of blood. As the scripture said, woe to the bloody city. They're full of robbery. And that's how Esau uh, uh, have got hold of America by the way of bloodshed, lies. Like I said earlier, man, the Lord said, this with violence shall this great city Babylon be taken down. So now we're in a time of violence. Things are more intensifying. The uproars and the uncivil arrest of the people. And it says, verse 26, Matthew chapter 12, verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So you've seen it. And the counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan are you Edomites. You're the wicked that the Bible speak of. You get all your, your, your power, all that witchcraft that America done uh, uh, uphold and push throughout all the, the centuries, all these years amongst these nations and had the people in the, in the, in the mind frame of confusion through their through they witchcraft and, 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 they, and, they, and them getting their, their spiritual guidance off the left hand side under Satan. So now you're seeing them against each other, man. These Edomites against each other. Satan casting out Satan. Like I say, the, the Democrats versus the Republicans. The left wing versus the right wing. Hell, even till you got these white militants and Trump supporters against Black Lives Matters. And the whole thing about Black Lives Matter, like I say, hey, they say about 90% of it, uh, damn near 90% or 99% of it ain't nothing but Edomites protesting, talking about Black Lives Matter. And they out there rioting and fighting against each other. So these are clear signs that the Lord has setting up here on the earth and here in America that this place is through. And that your Edomites, you Edomites, you, you so-called white people, that your kingdom is falling. And it's time for your judgment. 
that the Heavenly Father is about to bring upon you Edomites for what all the wickedness that we have done throughout the years against the us, the children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the blasphemy against the words of Yahweh Bashimah Shah, the Holy Scriptures, and all type of amount of wickedness that you Edomites push and uphold here. So you so we see that now. I'm going to go to Isaiah Isaiah chapter 19 Verse 1 And it says The burden of Egypt Behold the Lord And, 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 and another Code name Or symbolic biblical name for America is Egypt because you're not going to see America in the Bible it's codified through different ancient uh, uh, kingdoms and Egypt being one of the names of it when you look into the word Egypt the Greek word Egypt means bondage and this is the bondage of the Negroes Latinos and Native Americans us okay and hell to the point that even the, all you heathen nations that's over here including Esau himself it is in bondage to this system being ruled by these elites Hey, but the Lord only cares for the, the, the Israelite. And on, like I said, on top of that, only the elect. Hey, so the ones of you Edomites that's over here that's getting a, uh, a, a foot in your ass from your sin, from, from, from your own people, hey, you're a two-time loser. Because hey, you're going to catch it. You're going to catch hell on this side, and you're going to catch hell when it comes to us when we rule in the kingdom. When the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and the Israelites establish in the kingdom of heaven, here on the earth, and we rule, all you heathen nations are going to go into captivity. Especially you Edomites. And you Edomites that get put to death on this side and die in the destruction of America. And, and, and this place is being taken out by thermonuclear missiles. Hey, you're going to come back into the kingdom, what the scripture called recall nation, through the offspring of your elites. That, that, that's, 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 uh, um, that's, that's basically that pull one over on you, man. And you're going to come back in the kingdom under the elites who are oppressing you. And you're going to come back being the offspring just to go into slavery right along with them, man. And right along with the rest of you heathen nations. Let me continue on. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord right up upon a swift cloud. It shall come into Egypt. That's how Yahweh Shah, who the world called Christ, is going to return. Okay, that's another symbolic word uh, in the scripture, the uh, cloud. We represent the so-called UFOs. We're known as the chariots of the Most High and the angels, because that's how Yahweh Shah is going to return to bring destruction and to bring salvation to the elect. And it says, He ride up, and, he, and the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and that's another way of saying Esau against themselves, man. Okay, Edomite on Edomite crime. Okay, like they, like, oh, cause they always want to push black on black crime. Edomites on Edomite crime. White on white crime. Okay. Now the Lord got that having this place division, man. Divided between you Edomites that you warring against each other. Um, matter of fact, man, I'm I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna get another precept. And it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother. And every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the in the midst thereof, and I will destroy their counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. So basically, Lord, bringing this place down, man, and have you Edomites fight, fighting against each other, man, warring against each other. And then they said that you're gonna, you, you elites. You know, and you lesser luminary ones that uphold all these this witchcraft, these, these demons that you get your power from the left hand side to be prospered. Hey, the Lord said you're going to be seeking for those, those idols, those wizards, those spiritual guidance of wickedness <clears throat> when all hell break loose. And they're not going to deliver you. Because now we're in a time of righteousness. Your wickedness is being put out that you, that you uphold on the left hand side. So none of that can't help you, man. <clears throat> now let me get it on um, this right here on the, the precept I'm going to get 
This is um, Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And kind of the horse in the scriptures also represented power, okay? And it said this in particular horse was red, okay, represent Esau Edom. Because you, when you look into the word Edom, it means red uh, 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 according to the Bible. Okay, Adawam in the Hebrew, red. Because you eat, because you so-called white people, you're not white, you're red. That's a label that you put on yourself. The higher your identity, your true identity of the Bible, which are Esau, Edom. The red people, you the real red man. And it says, and there went out another horse that was red, meaning that another power, okay, which was really meaning Edomites in power. And the power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword, and that's your blessing, the sword, you Edomites, okay? Your modern day, you know, your military, your guns, your biological weapons, okay? And, and, and now to the point that these elites have set up the sword even to come down upon you average so-called whites, especially here in America, man. And when, it's, when the martial law gets set up, and they're not only going to be coming after uh, blacks, Latino, Native Americans, they're going to be coming after you Edomites as well. You white, uh, oh, you white su supremacy Edomites, white privileged Edomites. And that's going to be the wrath for the Lord, man. Okay. And it said, let me let me read that again. And it says, And power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they shall kill one another. And there was given him a great sword. And that's what you're seeing, man. And you're going to have these Edomites killing each other, man. And what that's what we're seeing now with these uprising and uproars of the people. And like I said, mostly protesters, man, ain't nothing but Edomites going at each other on, on neck. <clears throat> Now that's it on that, and I'm gonna go to the book, the second address, chapter nine, verse verse one. And he answered me then and said, "Measure the time digitally in itself." And when thou seest part of the sign pass which I had told thee before, thou shall then thou shall understand. It is the very same time when in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So this is going to the, the prophets, the ones that's in the in the know. Okay, the brothers that's in the faith, that's in the ministry, pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. And the sisters that, you know, listening, man, being obedient, okay? Because we're measuring the times, man, especially the men, the prophets, to give the warning to the elect and to give warning to you two-thirds. The warning of uh, the ones that's not going to repent and you're gonna die in your uh, in your iniquities, your transgressions, okay, for not believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. So the Lord is gonna gonna deliver the elect, and the elect is gonna measure the times, meaning looking into the prophecies and knowing that we're in the time of the end and the judgment of this uh, of America, and the downfall of the Edomites. And it says, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time. When in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And so you're seeing these things happening now, man. All these, these signs are taking place now. Thou shall, then thou, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning, and had an end, and, and, and an end, and the end is manifest. So we're seeing the, the Lord manifesting uh, uh, his prophecies, man. Okay? His word. That these people trying to be denial of, man. Yeah, but that's okay, man. Yeah, because this, this place is about to get hit with a lot of lot of plagues. And, and you ain't seen, we ain't even seen nothing yet, man. Hey, yeah, how about Shemal Shah is about to open up on America? Any individuals. Uh, uh, of these nations, our people, okay, the wicked amongst our people. Uh, that's it on that. I'm gonna go to the book of Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and dumb that the wear therein, and the word woe means 
destruction. Cause that's what's taking place, man. Ain't nothing but destruction coming to America and throughout the earth, man. Cause we in the time of Yahweh Bashman shall judge me. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. And in the modern day sword, okay, because the sword represent a killing instrument, okay? And the modern day sword is the gun. For the average American citizen, hey, when it comes to these protesters, these militants, hey man, and, and policemen, hey, they they bearing arms. I mean, they like, meaning they carry they carry guns, firearms, and that's how bad it's gonna be, man. You're gonna have all these shootouts, okay? These gun battles uh, amongst these protesters and the policemen, the martial law, and the, uh, the, the American citizens against each other. But that's how bad it's gonna get, okay? And like I said, the article itself even said that you have protesters out there with literally with, with swords when it comes to daggers and knives. You're going to have people out there with that too, man. Swords, daggers, knives, bats, okay? Anything they can get their hand on to protect themselves. And, 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 you know, it caused chaos. But the modern, the modern day sword is the guns. That was going to be heavily used the most. Verse 16. And it says, for there should be sedition among men, and that word sedition means uprising, and evading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's going into now, man. And looking at these people fighting against, you know, the, 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 the government, that will represent these kings, the modern day kings and princes. They're not listening to their government anymore, man. They're ready to go to war with their government. To the point now, uh, you got Trump. They bringing forth martial law. And this is only going to get worse and worse. And it's going to get so bad, man, that, that you actually going to be seeing these things on a on a regular day basis. Uproars and other civil arrests. These rioting and people uh, are killing each other. And it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. But because of their pride, the city shall be, shall be troubled. And the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And they say, men shall not go into cities, because they're going to be coming to the time of martial law, okay? Uh, strict legislations. But people ain't going to be able to go to another uh, county, another city, okay? Due to so much violence, so much hell breaking loose. They're going to be setting up checkpoints, barricades, and, and, and troops. Detention centers, you know, FEMA camps. And these things are already on the book, man. And it's already in the making. Okay? <clears throat> and it says, And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but they shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what time we're coming into, man. And, and, and that's going to get people to fight against each other too, man. When they don't have the necessary things to survive, like water, food, electricity, clothing, shelter, okay, money. Hey, you're going to have these individuals, man, uh, killing each other, man. <clears throat> Amongst all nations here in America. And that's why we're coming into the time, man, the, the brothers that's in the faith, the ones that's in the faith, <clears throat> Looking for your how about you shot protection? Because the Lord is going to exempt the elect for all these things that's going to, you know, these triosities that's going to take place. The trials and tribulation, the turmoil that's about to hit, hit America. And we are at the beginning stages now. Now I'm going to go to the book. Uh, Second Edges, chapter 6, verse 22. And it says, And suddenly shall the sworn places appear unsown and going into the downfall of this place man the the, the, the economy crash the job losses Are you hear you got america talking about they adding more jobs but somehow the economy been, this economy still crashing and hey, this economy been crashing for years man ever since mainly it's ever since 2008 during the, the recession and ever since man this country ain't been up but a major debt that they owe to the bankers and they don't owe to other countries now that we ain't seeing the seeing the, the effect of this debt crashing this place. And eventually it's gonna to lead to the RFID chip. 
the mark of the beast. Because that's what these elites want to push to be the new next currency. The dollar, the, the digital dollar. That chip. That's how everybody, and they say nobody can't buy or sell without that chip. Without that mark. Okay? And those that take the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, according to the Bible, they're going to be destroyed by fire. When Yahweh Shai return with the fire, by the way of the chariots, and those thermonuclear missiles as well. Okay? So that's why I hear a great millstone. Okay? And brothers that's in the same spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we're always giving warning to our people, you Israelites, not to take the RFID chip. But the consequences are going to be death, judgment. <clears throat> and you, but you got camps out here saying the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. Well, go ahead. And I wouldn't want to take that risk, man. <clears throat> they let it, they let it, they, the, their own blood is going to be upon them. Because it was given warning. Um, uh, Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. And the full storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. They're going to a famine. The businesses here in America, the stores, all of them are going to be done away with, man. Especially when this economy crash. Because you're going to have, also you're going to have people resist that chip. Especially Esau, Edom. Even though they, they, they can take it because they're not going to be saved anyway. Okay? But by these uh, uh, Christians that know about the chip and other individuals that know about the chip, the mark of the beast, and they, they're going to fight against that, man. And to the point, they rather, you know, when they come to these stores and stuff, but they're going to be going in there, barbering them stores, looting and rioting and taking everything they can get for survival. Okay? It's going to be lawless here in America. <clears throat> and it says, And at that time shall friends fight one, one against another like enemies. So you're going to, to the point where you're going to even have friends, man. Okay? They're going to fight against each other due to the lack of food and money and all hell breaking loose and the confusion, man. Un uncivil unrest. And the ones of our people that always want to be together and, and our people, you know, they murder each other now, man. And, you know, and this place full with bloodshed of our people murdering each other. Esau, he murdered himself too, his people too. They always, they murder each other. Okay? Ain't nothing but, nothing but violence. Here in America, okay, and we ain't even to the point that it it don't hit us uh, the, the 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 climax, man. It's gonna get more intensified, man. Like I always like to say, man, it's gonna get so bad that Yahweh Shai gonna have to come back and destroy this place, and deliver the elect, and set up the kingdom. Then when is, everything is gonna be at rest and at peace, especially for the Israelite, for you nations, man. You gonna, hey, man, get ready for for slavery. And it says. <clears throat> And it says, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. And going into you no know, famine, the lack of food, the lack of water. Okay, that this whole place of America is going to be shut down, man, through the spirit and power and the judgment of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Whosoever remaineth from all these things that I had told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. That's going into, like I say, the, the elect. It's showing you that the elect is going to be here to go through all the triosities and the trials and tribulations that's going to take place here upon America and throughout the earth. And the ones that remain, the elect is going to be delivered by, by, by Yahweh Shah. Okay? So brothers, we looking for Yahweh Shah to be with us, man. And the scripture said, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. Knowing this truth, having the spirit of the Lord with us, preparing our minds, okay? And looking at current events, they're adding it up with the scriptures, okay? They, 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 and they're going into prophecy. Because you got a lot of these Israelite camps, and they're not in the mind frame of prophecy, uh, judgment. And they're going to get caught slipping, man, spiritually. And that's going to lead to their judgment. Uh, for not taking heed to the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the correct way. Okay, you Israelites, that's uh, amongst them, the, the Israel that know the Israelites. Okay, and, and that's lagging, gagging, and playing around. Yeah, but they make mockery at us, man, when we tell them these things to come. That the Lord about to bring judgment. <clears throat> and that's why the Lord said he's going to laugh at their calamity. 
when all hell break loose. Now I'm going to get this last scripture and I'm going to close out. And I'm going to go to the book of Zephaniah. Um, chapter 1, verse 14. And it says, The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasty greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. And the voice of the day of the Lord represents the prophets. Okay? And that great day that is near, talking about the judgment that Yahweh Bashim is about to bring upon the earth and the total destruction of the Edomites' kingdom, America. Okay? And it says, The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hastily greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. And the mighty man shall cry there bitterly, that day, that day is the day of wrath, the day of trouble and distress, a day of wastefulness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fear city and against the high towers. We're going into it when all hell break loose, man. And that's how these people are going to be, man. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men and because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. So that's how much hell is going to be breaking loose, man. Hey, these people ain't going to know what the hell is going to be going on, man. Hey, because when all hell break loose, man, you, they ain't going to have no access to the internet and to look up the prophets. And that's when the, the feminine word is going to take place. You ain't going to have no access looking up hey, what, where were those men that was on the highways and byways? And where were those, those Israelites that claimed they was men of the Lord, even prophets, and giving us warning about these times that we in now? Okay? This is the time now. The scripture says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, before the evil days draw near, for you Israelites. And, and once the elect seal, and that's it. Okay? That's it, man. Once the Lord have it, have it fit, that it's time to bring judgment, and his word is being taken away. And it says, verse... Verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men, and they that and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord. And their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, and for he shall make even a speedy resident residence. Of all them that dwell in the land. So that will about to take place, man. Hey, none of your, your possessions and none of that going to save you from the wrath of the Lord. Okay, especially you Edomites. And two-thirds of our people that trust in this place. Right along with the heathens. Okay, only thing that's going to be able to save you. If you're part of the elect and it's the will of the Lord. And you had a wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. And being in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, and that's what we're looking for, brothers. That's in the ministry. That's in, that's in the walk. Okay, sisters that's being obedient uh, 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 to the men, listening, okay, and not bucking up, man. Hey, because the time coming where Yahweh Bashim al is going to bring judgment. And he said he's going to start off at the house of Israel first, man. So all hell is breaking loose, man. And we're praying to be part of that hopeful elect to be delivered out of the wrath of the Lord and make it uh, uh, to Yahweh Bashim al deliver us, man. Okay, that's soon to come. But right now we're in this, this, the, the beginning stages, man, preparing ourselves. For these things to, that, that, that take place. So I pray once again that it lets me edify to the ones out there listening. Until the next time, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rukar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and uh, elders out of Greek Millstone that rule and teach well. And salutation to the fellow laborers that's pushing the word of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and our truth and sincerity. Until the next time, Shalom, and Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakathon. Meaning that the Most High and His Son. Uh, and the Holy Spirit um, blessed on uh, the elect, Bakiah Yashallah, the elect of Israel.